Hello and welcome to another edition of the Gadget Show Web TV and the A007 Phone Watch. Now, gadgets hidden in watches have always been rather popular. It's probably one of those Bond things. You know, he's had everything in his from a, a Geiger counter down to a laser metal cutter. Um, but strangely, phone watches, although there are quite a few available on the market at the moment, never seem to have entered the mass mainstream. And one look at the A007 probably sort of explains why. It's almost absurdly large for a watch. Um, most of the bulk, incidentally, is uh, down to the fact that it, a very large battery has to go in there. Uh, it's also rather aesthetically challenged, and frankly, it's not very satisfying as a timepiece. You get a choice between this uh, rather crude analogue display or an equally crude digital one. To actually start using it as a phone, you tap on the screen and uh, a keypad comes up. It is actually a touch screen and it's just big enough for you to dial a number using your little finger. But uh, if you want to be really confident in your prodding, you'd better off sort of pulling out this small stylus that lives in the wristband. The actual call quality is really very good. So is reception. There's a little microphone that you speak into here and an internal loudspeaker. Now, I suspect most people will either use the supplied Bluetooth headset or indeed the supplied wired headset, which sticks into a USB socket there so that the whole world isn't hearing your telephone conversations. You'll certainly need the stylus to find your way around the phone's rather involved menu system, and you'll probably be irritated by the cutesy teddy bear icons that bounce around the screen while it's doing stuff. They've certainly managed to pack the features in, though. There's a music player, a voice recorder, voice activation. There's a little QWERTY keyboard that pops up while you're writing messages. And this protuberance on the front is a camera, though the quality, both on stills and video, is frankly dreadful. So, all in all, the A007 is fairly functional in a rather fiddly sort of way. Even the battery life's not too bad. Although, I think it's strictly still a novelty item. I don't think you'd want to use it to take the place of your main phone, or indeed your main watch. I think for phone watches to get popular, they've got to become a lot more compact than this. I think they've got to strip out some of the functions, maybe cut down the power consumption so it doesn't need such an enormous battery. And crucially, I feel, just basically make them much more attractive as watches. If they can manage to do all that, then the phone watch may cease to be a gadget fantasy and actually become a mainstream gadget reality.